Scorpio. <laughs> What's popping? What's going on in the life of a water baby for the month of September 2019? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys having a hard time letting something go, releasing, harboring um, feelings, emotions, residual energy in order for you to be successful? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, this first time on my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, this first time on my channel, look out. I cuss. Make us a little, make us a lot, just depending on what the hell the cards say, oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you right damn now, feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. It's my shit. All right. Thank you all in advance for all the likes, the shares, the subscribe, the donations, the love, the readings, the support. Thank you so very much from the humblest space, you guys. I truly appreciate it. Our family is growing. Speaking of family, hey, new family, hey, boo. To the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We share. We grow. We enlighten. We evolve. Posi vibes only over here, all right? You guys, uh, this is not going to resonate with everybody. You guys take what does. Leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, don't try and put that motherfucker on. You're going to fall. If it's not for you, don't make it for you, okay? So, um, with that said, this would be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Scorpio. Returning family, what's up, baby? Did you miss me? Hmm. Hmm. I appreciate you guys for um actually doing doing. I, I, how can I say? I ain't gonna say doing better. For actually working with me when it comes to the views, because y'all know we talked about it. Thank you so very much, you guys, for the increase in support of Scorpio. I truly appreciate it because it wasn't always that way. So let me first acknowledge you and tell you without without uh, your growth, get what I'm saying, I couldn't be sitting in this space with, you know, the love from the support that I've received. So thank you guys individually. Also, if you have not yet followed me on IG, please go do so. It's at mocha underscore love underscore tarot. I'm going to be getting the weeklies out this week. Um, you guys, I used to do it within a live stream, but I'm actually working on a way to be able to upload it so that they can stay on there just in case you missed the live stream. Okay. So y'all work with me. I love you all. Let's get it. So this will be for the month of September. We're going to start off with your intuitive messages for the month, okay? With you guys' this energy, I got to say, it was like a roller coaster. You get what I'm saying? I felt like you guys on the external are good. You straight. You get what I'm saying? You strong. You solid. You from Mars. The fuck? We know this, okay? But I do feel in the external, some of you guys are feeling a bit insecure about making a really big step that you have to make based on your insecurities or the doubt that you've kind of been, or that's kind of been programmed within you to believe since you were a child. And some of you guys are, it's like you're beating yourself up on how far you're coming in this journey and um, what it is that you can do, what you feel like you should be able to. Let me go ahead and talk about this right now too. Pause, Scorpio. I I broke my nail. I'm Aries. I'm insecure about it. I was out there playing with the kids yesterday. Basketball went all wrong. I was on that line. So with that said, you guys, please <laughs> disregard my nail. I'm, I'm insecure about it. Y'all know I love my nail art. Okay. So let's get it. Um, but I did feel this energy of you guys kind of being in this space. And there's also the element of um, clarity that's needed. Or clarity being given, and it may shake some shit up, but I definitely feel like it's for the better, it's for your greater good. Okay, for some of you all, it's going to free you from this mental prison in which you've kind of been binding yourself based on you know what didn't get, what didn't happen, why it happened, why they did what they did, how come they didn't think about this, and how come you didn't think about that, or how come it, it's learn from it, release it. And take the lesson with you going forward, okay? Because for some of you all, some of you, I'm, I'm even here regretting, regretting the decision to build, okay? So for some of you all, you're getting real with your damn self in the month of September, and you're just really gonna be um, exuding this confidence outwardly. But uh, there's need, there's a need for you guys to do that work internally, okay? Especially when it comes to forgiveness. So some of you all, I'm clear sentient. Some of you all may be having issues with your back, okay? Um, there's a, there's a need to release. Forgive also in centering yourselves, okay? Thank you, Rob, for coming on not to shine the life of us with Scorpio. Let's get it. All right. Intuitively, I got for you guys releasing, harboring emotions. Yes. Blocks removed. Compromise. Manipulation. Childhood dreams. Dreams. Visions. Synchronicities. Realizations. Career transitions. Increasing success, abundance, regret over past decisions, renewals, triggers, 
insecurity, past traumas, trusting the unknown. Okay? So let's get it. Any of those intuitive messages did resonate with you? This is definitely your reading overall energy around the reading. Y'all, we got the six of diamonds, okay? To clarify that, uh, I did pull from the Osha Zoom tarot deck, and I got letting go, okay? So for some of you all with the waters here, I definitely feel like this is other. Some of you guys are choosing to make a decision to either move forward, okay, and um, and compromise in some type of renewal to rebuild a situation where there's trust, where everything's laid out on the table. But in order to do so, you're going to have to let go of the fears of going forward, someone or something betraying you um, as, you know, like things did in the past. I definitely feel like there's a situation in your life that is requiring you to trust and it's testing your patience. But for some of you all, it is triggering you also with past traumas when it comes to love, when it comes to blockages around your finances, when it comes to you feeling like someone was either taking authority of you or trying to play you for that matter. Some of you all, this has to do with letting go the way that you view or your perception around what it is that you deserve. Some of you all are meant to be successful, but it's like this fear around the actual success. It's like you only thought as far as living your damn dream. You didn't think as far as how far you could go. It's like this limiting space that's needing. It's like you guys are needing to have a breakthrough. But in order to do that, you're going to have to let go of what you tell yourself. For some of you all, this is the mindset of, oh, I can't have that because, or let's say, for instance, I'll never be famous because I came from the ghetto or I came from the hood. Lies. Lies. They have too many social social platforms that a lot of these people were discovered from. So there's a need for you guys to keep going and move away from that fear or for that matter, letting go of the fear that someone is letting go of the fear that either you're going to have to compete with someone or for that matter, someone is going to um, benefit off of the moving forward. It, 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 for some of y'all, it's different. OK, take what resonates. Angel message for the month, you guys. That was clairsentience. Yes, listen to yourself. Notice the re <laughs> sorry, y'all. Notice the reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Clairsentience. Trust what you feel. Okay, and with it coming from the heart, this has definitely has to do with the heart space. Some of you all have this inner knowing, overstanding, understanding of what's to come, what it is that needs to be let go, released, okay? Even if it's past fears, past traumas. There could even be traumas around a uh, rejection, abandonment, uh, being put last or second, or for that matter, be a fear of being unseen, unheard, or seen the way that you want to be seen. Moving away from that particular fear. Okay? So let's get in. With everybody else, I did pull some, um, so thus far, September, I kind of want to resonate with everybody because some of y'all actually focus on less money. In fact, right before I did your video, I actually felt to light my money candle. So, Scorpio, a lot of you guys may be um, manifesting money during this time. And with the number six here, you will have harmonious outcomes, baby. Spirit, what's to come with, um, what's your advice for Scorpio spirit when it comes to their finances in the month of September? Okay, yeah, they go that six again. <laughs> Moving forward, so some of you all, uh, some of y'all, there's actually like some type of relationship or bond with someone. For some of you all, this could even be your your loyalty to people around you who don't have the same, who don't have your interest that you have in them, in you, the best interest, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with actually moving away. Um, for some of y'all, I feel like this has to do, some of y'all know that you need to leave a job behind. And focus on your life path because some of you all have a life path around children. And for some of you all, this could be tied. Your life path, when it comes to your abundance, is also tied within love. So it's your ability to open up and be receptive, okay? For some of you all, you're afraid to leave a job because you don't want to be seen as disloyal or someone who can't be depended on, okay? I definitely feel like there's going to be a shifting between now, and I'm actually here in the middle of October, okay? So some of you guys may choose toward the end of September to finally go ahead and put that two weeks notice in and finally go ahead and work on your business, not worrying about what it is that you don't see now, but focusing on the vision in which you're building, okay? And I do feel it's going to be luxurious. Some of you guys uh, need to go and actually apply for a decision. It's about you settling, okay? Some of y'all are... Showing up to work for a damn paycheck, but you're not passionate about what you're doing. And Scorpio, it's Mars energy, passion energy, your desires. It rules passion. So it's about you guys being, you guys being, well, flourishing. 
by focusing on your purpose and your passion. Some of you all are also very intuitive and you're being called to do um to do work with spirit. And some of you all are afraid of being judged or the perception of others. And you can't let go of that perception of belief. And so in the month of September, spirit is really going to be working on you guys when it comes to receptivity and not being afraid to let go. Okay, so let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for your beautiful scorpions? Someone rather than Venus, as well as the cross watchers in love for the first half of September. What messages do you have for my scorpions in love? First half of September, one more, okay. So you have my scorpions in love for the first half. Some of you all are walking away from being, having this fear of vulnerability about yourselves. Or if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, for some of you all, you're setting boundaries, okay? Some of you all are wanting to reconcile with someone who could have been a karmic partner in the past, but now this person has undergone some type of spiritual awakening or undergoing some type of shifting in their lives, okay? For some of you all, there's a need for you to set your boundaries with this person. For some of y'all, it involves a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Others of you, this could have to do with some type of cycle that's ending with the Leo, an Aquarius, a Taurus, or a, another Scorpio like yourself, okay? Some of you all, if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person could be speaking to you about making some type of compromise or you that person in the month of September. There is this need for you all to set boundaries and speak your truth in order for things to move in more so a harmonious way. But some of you all, you're uh, you're um, I'm a recovering undercover over lover, recovering from a love I can't get over. I Recovering undercover over lover. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra. Some of you all are wanting to go back and reconcile some type of family family situation that you think is dead. But there's a need for you all to open up and express yourself because you could be dealing with an air sign or a water sign who has an issue with expressing themselves. So you're going to have to take the lead in the situation in order for the karmic cycle of non-communication or in order for the karmic cycle of someone being afraid to open up their emotions out of fear of being hurt, really not giving a relationship a chance before it could even really even get off the ground. OK, and for some of you all, you're going to some of y'all may also be feeling neglected or rejected, possibly by a big sign, um, Taurus. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, there's a need for you all to set boundaries regarding some type of recent change that's occurring into your life because some of y'all feel as if you kind of on the rocks on if you want to stay or if you want to go. And for some of you all, the communication that you're going to be receiving this, some of y'all are going to be receiving some type of positive communication when it comes to moving. Others of you, there's a blessing coming into your world, like some type of offer or some type of new opportunity that's going to force you to move to another space. That, um, And I feel like whoever this karmic partner is, you can't take them with you. Spirit is making you choose. Do you want success or you want some repetitive cycle hamster wheel type shit, Scorpio? Okay. So let's just see what happens. Yeah, for some of you all, you are the tower. Some of y'all moving away from a person or cutting off a person during this time. Some of y'all could definitely be the sign of Leo. Others of you, this could also be, um, someone could be moving away from you. This could, with this being the tower, this Mars energy. So I definitely feel like this could have to do with an Aries or another Scorpio like yourself. But some of you all are bringing the towers to someone because you're tired of the, you're tired of immature ass communication or the lack thereof opening up with communication to know or have clarity on what the fuck it is that we trying to build or for that matter tired of dealing with somebody who can't set clear boundaries around themselves or see their own self-worth to know that other people in your in their external or you guys as external are distractions it's like pick a side motherfucker <laughs> For some reason, when I said pick a side, motherfucker, I, somebody going to put in them comments because I felt, I literally heard in my head with laughter, sis, I felt that shit. Listen, I don't know who going to do it, but I'm just laughing in advance. Okay. Some of you guys could also be uh, having some type of quarrels or disputes regarding a fire sign. And this has to do with um, somebody not being able to fully walk away from their past. Okay. Someone is allowing their past to be a distraction in their present. And it is going to affect how things assist, how things progress going forward in the future. For some of y'all, this is just emotion, traumas, uh, drama that could have happened with this person in the past, especially if you have children with this person. 
Some of y'all are feeling as if you've outgrown or you're outgrowing an individual. So it's like where one person was damn resisting the damn connection. It's like the, the tables have turned now. Some of y'all are resisting the connection. Like, look, motherfucker, you still childish. You still ain't growing. My money is starting to slow the fuck down. And I'm just really thinking it's a whole problem, okay? Others of you are trying to start something new, possibly with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. But you have distractions coming in from, or from an air sign that is having a hard time moving the hell on. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody didn't understand, or for some of y'all, it's a water sign having a hard time moving the hell on from your partner, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you all, there is some type of karmic cycle ending, um, possibly with dealing with a Taurus or an Aries person. I definitely feel like some of y'all could also be avoiding someone or avoiding some type of tire moment from happening, like out of this fear of being rejected. So someone could actually be keeping their feelings inside. They're not expressing their feelings, and I feel like someone's going to miss out on a good thing. Because they're choosing to sit in this space of fear, ego, doubt, negative self-talk. For some of y'all, some negative-ass family members. Somebody got a mama that can't mind their fucking business. Yeah. Some of you guys, uh, either, some of you guys, there's a judgment being made about resurrecting a family situation, okay? Possibly with the tourists, okay? I definitely feel like for some of you all, you're just having an issue. Like, you love this person, but you just want to, you want to be able to trust them, y'all. And I feel like what you don't know is that this person is really coming with something solid. However, you only see the burden and aspects and the things that you've kind of withheld and not told this person in the past, or you feel as like if this past, this person is not telling you, okay? For some of you all, you're feeling overburdened about not either receiving some type of communication or it's like some of you guys could have sent some type of message. And in the month of September, you are going to be receiving a response back, but maybe it's not what you expected or maybe a person is not getting what they expected from you. This person is definitely a soulmate for some of you all this past life. For others of you, this is your damn divine masculine. Or you could be the divine masculine. And there's internal conflict. Maybe where someone, when maybe where you was, and y'all flip it how I go, okay? Because maybe where you was resisting a union and opening up, now this person is walking away, and I feel like now you're ready to communicate with this person, and you don't really know how to come at them. Or maybe this is a person dealing with you, okay? Some of you guys could also be um, reaching out or afraid to reach out to a water sign or another water sign that you could have moved away from is afraid to reach out to you because they really don't know if you still want to build into this relationship and they're afraid of being kicked to the curb. Some of y'all have a water sign. This could be someone's mother, someone's child's mother. Um, somebody has um, a water sign connection that was very karmic from their past that this person is having a hard time releasing out of the fear of not breaking a cycle when it comes to parenting or co-parenting or for that matter, the child having both parents. Okay, Someone could be juggling. Some of you guys could be dealing with the water sign. And an earth sign. Some of you guys are dealing with the sign of Capricorn who needs to choose between yourself and the Pisces. Others of you just have to do with the fire sign who need to choose between you and the Pisces because I feel like someone is feeling guilty for how things went in the past around the situation because all truths, like they're, it's like some of you guys may know of a situation, but you're getting ready to know everything about it because certain things were omitted in the month of September. And if you were thinking about leaving the situation, I definitely see you guys are going to release your situation. Release yourself from a burdensome fire sign. It is real Sagittarius. <clears throat> when secrets come out about a person, possibly with this damn hidden family. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who, the karma's a bitch. When you do what you do for so long, karma does, you, you people lie, but spirit don't lie. Some of you all could be dreaming about some secrets, uh, some particular, or dreaming, regard, some of y'all having dreams about a random child you ain't never met before in your life. And I feel like when you tell your partner about it, you need to, Watch their body language. Because some of you all, this dream is very vivid and it's going to be repetitive. And for others, you just has to do with <clears throat> Scorpio. Some of y'all are going to be drum boppers, uh, 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 bums, bum, drum boppers, bum droppers. Some of y'all are dropping the truth to someone and letting them know, listen, I'm not with juggling shit. I'm going to choose to make a decision for your ass and just remove my damn self. And in doing so, you walk right into abundance, happiness, your blessing, going into a new cycle where money looks damn good, a new opportunity, blessings from God. But you got to face your fear of releasing something based on you feeling like you won't have it again. Or as if 
you're missing out on something. Because for some of y'all, you ain't missing out on a motherfucking thing, but a person who's still a grown-ass kid. They don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to open the fuck up. They don't know how to set boundaries. They don't know how to respect boundaries. They don't know how to compromise with you to bring this sense of order, understanding. They can't tell you what the fuck y'all building because they ain't even thought that far. You worry about communicating. This motherfucker don't come. They don't complain, they Scorpio. So you need them to make a decision. Some of you guys are going to make the decision to move away, walk away from it. Some of you all, in doing so, there's some type of transformation that happens in love for you all, possibly with the water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, the resurrection of a family situation after walking away from something that should have been dead. Some of you guys are walking away from a family situation and walking right into the love of your life, your person, okay? So, Spirit, what is the outcome? What is your best advice as far as the outcome for the month of September? What should Scorpio be doing? Some of y'all is to take that damn offer of reconciliation with the family situation. Some of you all, you have to trust in the things that you cannot see right now. Especially if you've been in some type of, like, no communication or you kind of get to know this person again, okay? Some of you guys, it could be an earth sign. Some of you all, take that damn offer of work. Take that damn offer of work. That new offer that may require your ass to move. Take it. You're building. Decide to invest in yourself. For others of you, this has to do with working out a family situation. Working out some type of divine partnership. Renewing a situation that was meant to be. Finally having that realization through dreams and synchronicities. Finding out that this person actually wants to compromise with you, renew and rebuild. Some of y'all just have to do with the fire sign. Every still Sagittarius. Some of you guys is going to take you to leave a situation and offer your cup elsewhere for the motherfucker who you want to get right. You bring the towels. For some of y'all, this three of rods with the damn uh, tower here, you you moving away brings the motherfucking towels. You let a person know. Actions speak louder than words. I'm from Mars, bitch. Respect it. All right? For some of you all, this has to do with renewal. Some of y'all could also be uh, finally taking that person that worked up on a offer to go out on a date and accept a cup of love. For some of you all, be careful, especially if your passions get the rolling too high because you've been referred to this month. So if you don't want no babies, okay? Some of y'all, you may be trying to work on your relationship or uh, there could be talks about pregnancy. Some of y'all could actually be fine. Not that you're pregnant in the month of September, which is also going to bring some type of renewal and some type of... Uh, family dynamic okay so you guys definitely let me know how this resonates y'all this is what i have for you guys for the month of september please get your readings in if you want them because i'm cutting them off on the 19th y'all i will be in mexico for seven days okay so i love you all very 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 much if you need a reading reach out to me also follow me on instagram as i do post specials over there too that i don't post on um on youtube and vice versa okay also check the community tab y'all i love you peace love light and great vibes Bye, babies.